English muffins are fantastic to have for breakfast. Poached egg on top of them, a bit of hollandaise sauce, a bit of bacon on the side, they are delicious. Most of the time we just buy them from the shop. But you know what? They are really easy to make. They take a little bit of time because you have to allow them to prove, but when you make them at home, they're always better. It starts with a cup and a half of good flour. This is bread and pizza flour, and I'm using this because it's a little bit stronger and it'll hold the muffins together beautifully. They've got to prove, so they need a bit of strength to them. I'm gonna add some baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking powder to give it an extra bit of lift, a tablespoon of dried yeast, and make sure your dried yeast is fresh. Always check the use by date and half a teaspoon of sugar. That'll help to sweeten it up. Mix it around so it's nicely incorporated. Now to this, I'm gonna add some milk. I've got a cup of milk and a tablespoon of butter. I've put them together and brought them up till they're nice and warm. You wanna activate the yeast. The trick is to get it to just above blood temperature so when you pop it in here, it's got a nice warmth that gets that yeast growing. Stirring this around will bring it together. And you'll notice when you make this dough, it's a little bit sticky. That's okay, that's what you want. And I stir that around till it starts to come together. It doesn't take very long at all. Now you can see that it's a really sort of sticky dough. That's perfect, exactly what I want. Now what I've done is I've made one already and I've let it prove for about 40 minutes. The trick with this is cover it with cling film, that'll keep it nice and moist. And as I take the cling film off, you can see it's risen up nicely. Now the trick is to put this somewhere warm, either by the stove or if you're like my grandmother, she used to put it in her electric blanket. Now I'm gonna dust the board with flour because as I said, this dough is quite sticky. And with a little spatula or your fingers, I'll just carefully pop that straight onto the flour here. Now always have a bit of extra flour to dust it because as you can see, the stickier it is, the harder it is to handle. And I'll just turn it around like this. You can see there's a few air bubbles in there and that's perfect. Now I've got a good knife here and I'll just cut this dough into four. Now this recipe will make four or six muffins. I'm making quite large muffins, so I'm only gonna cut it into four. Now I've got some flour on my fingers and I just fold the dough underneath itself like that until you get a nice little ball. And once you've got a nice little ball here like that, you need to pop it on a tray. Now this tray here has got some polenta on it. Some semolina or polenta is perfect. Pop that on there like that. Now once I've done all of these, I'm gonna put them somewhere nice and warm and they will prove up quite considerably. They'll almost double in size. Then all we need to do is cook them. You can see the muffins have risen up beautifully. Yeah, they're really delicate at this stage here, so you've got to be really careful. But you can see it doesn't take much to pick them up and then pop them onto the tray. And you can see having the polenta or the semolina there really makes it a lot easier. I'll stir the tray around like that, pop that under there, and then pop it straight onto the pan. I'm using a really good non-stick pan and I've got it on a really low heat. I want to cook them really slowly on the base and get that nicely cooked golden brown. And once they're golden brown on the bottom, I'll flip them over. They will puff up a little bit and they will be cracking. And then I need to put some jam and some butter on that. I can't wait to eat these. beautiful and really easy to put together. Now this is a little bit warm, so I'll just slice this in half. You can see it tears in half beautifully. And you'll notice that the yellow comes from the actual butter, which I think is important. But you know, we need to put a little bit more butter on there and you can see that butter just melts straight into it. And jam, I've got some raspberry jam. Just smear that on there. Looks fantastic, smells amazing and really quick to put together. That is fantastic, and you know what? It tastes better than anything you can buy from a shop, believe me.